Alright guys, this is John from thehouseofhydro.com. We're going to talk a little bit about how to uh, make your own little uh, fog ponic setup or Nutrimist uh, real easy uh, with one of our mist makers from thehouseofhydro.com. So the first thing you're going to need, if we're going to do a remote reservoir where your fertilizers are in another like five gallon bucket fed with a quarter inch line, the first thing we're going to do is install a seven inch mini float in there with a quarter inch NPT uh, output. What you're going to be able to do is take a small black vinyl hose that's a quarter inch and plug it right into here and then you can set your five gallon bucket of nutrients right next to it and it will automatically feed to the correct height. What you're going to do is stick your mist maker in the bottom of this with some water and you're going to find the proper level that this float needs to be located to give it a good mist, right? So you'll drill your hole, install your float, that'll give you the water you need, the nutrients in your uh, new fog ponic setup. Then you can take two different fittings. One is going to be for your fan. Now I'm using a micro computer fan for this. Uh, I really recommend getting yourself a waterproof fan uh, because the micro computer fans aren't waterproof and they do burn out over time. But I've got a small one here that's uh, round just like this so it's a nice little setup. What I do is connect it to a power line multi voltage you can actually choose from 12 volts all the way down to uh, 3 volts on this thing and it will control the speed of your fan and the output of your fog. So what you're going to do is drill yourself two different holes here depending on the size of your uh, your fittings. You're going to use some Teflon tape on your threads, the white tape, so you don't leak any fog. So you plug those in just like that. Your fan, your uh, fan's going to go here, and your output hose will go here. You go and you buy yourself some corrugated hose, or well, not preferably corrugated, but. This is uh, real cheap at Lowe's, I think. It's like less than a dollar a foot. So that will plug right into here for your output. And that can go right to your root chamber or your cloning chamber. So now that we have the float installed in the bottom, your fan input for the air, your output for the fog, what you're going to do is drop your mess maker inside. It disconnects from the transformer, so you have a, uh, a a connection that you can actually run through your through your bin. I'm gonna run it here because I screwed up drilling this hole, uh, but I'm gonna run it right through here just so I can show you guys how this works, and then I'll seal it back up. But uh, so here we go. All right, guys. What I did was just run my line to the three head mist maker through the side and seal it up with some duct tape because I'm just trying to get this done to show you guys. Um, there's our input hose for the external uh, nutrient reservoir, just a five gallon bucket with a quarter inch line. Um, we've got our three head inside already. The correct height of water, the float is closed uh, and we're ready to plug it in and install our fan. So our fan we have here is on 12 volt, highest speed. We've got the mist maker running inside. Already got a good bit of mist going. 
stick our lid on. There you have it. Now all you have to do, stick your hose on this here. And you're set. You run that right to your root zone. You can reduce the output by turning the fan down.